Vanillas, episode 23. Um, my Jordan episode, right? Jordan's 23. Or is it LeBron? <laughs> my LeBron episode. No, it's Jordan. Your Jordan year. You turn 23. It's your Jordan. My Jordan episode, <laughs> I think. Boy, I don't know. I don't know anything about basketball. Um, Hi, how are you? How have you been? How's your week been? Nice to see you. Here's Miso. He just brought me his spring toy as pictured. If you're watching on video here, I'll let you let you get a good look at that. Ready? Fetch. Okay. Um, hi, as you could see, I'm dressed in my spa attire because we just had a relaxing week. You know, actually, I'm, I'm completely lying. <laughs> I had a pretty fucking cuckoo bananas week. I worked a shit ton, but then at the end of the week, my body was hurting, hurting bad. So I was like, you know what? I need a massage. So I went to the spa. I went to the spa and I'm kind of still in that, um, in that mental space, you know, just, just been relaxing the past few days. I haven't gone to work the past few days. Um, I'm going to go back tomorrow, but the past like two or three days, just been chilling, just been vibing, honestly. Nothing really, you know, nothing really new or exciting has happened. The eclipse happened yesterday. Miso, did that happen yesterday? Right. Okay. I think that was yesterday. Um, today's Tuesday. So yeah, it was yesterday. It was Monday. I didn't see it. I didn't look at it. I didn't have the glasses. Sue me. Also, I'm in LA. So it's like, I can't even really, I wasn't in the, uh, what's it called? The, someone sent me a map of like the area that it was going to be like the most visible, I guess. The, where it's going to be in totality, right? Is that what it was called? And we were, we were nowhere we were near that shit. So I was like, I don't really know what the fuck it looked like from LA. Um, I was actually, <laughs> during the eclipse, I was on a very important call. I was on a very important call, but we're, we're going to get into that later. Um, but yeah, I went to the spa and uh, I go to this spa. It's a traditional like Korean bathhouse kind of place. And see, that's that's the thing. I like spas and I like the fact that you could like go get a massage, whatever. Cool. But something about this place, I just love it. And I feel like I've talked about it before. I fucking love there's a, there's a few in New York. There's a few out here. I just fucking love it. I love the fact that you could like you could pay like thirty dollars. You could just fucking stay there all day and like use all the saunas and this fucking all the other shit that they have. Um or what I do is I'll like book an actual service and then like I'll get like a massage and a body scrub and then like I use the, the fucking saunas and all that other shit. And they have a, a restaurant in there and the restaurant's actually like good. Like it's not bad. Um, and I just fucking love that place. So I'll go and I'll be there for like a couple hours usually. Um, but there is an area in the spa that you, every, it's like fully nude. Everyone has to be fully nude. It's separated by men and women. Um. I, I don't even know. Was I talking about this last episode? I don't even fucking remember. Girl, I don't remember. If I did, sorry, we're talking about it again. Um, but yeah, so it's separated and you have to be fully naked. And while I was there, I was wondering, like, I was just like, damn, you know, it would be kind of like crazy if someone recognized me here. <laughs> not that like, bitch, obviously I'm not fucking famous. I barely get recognized, but I have gotten recognized in, in, in it very random places sometimes too. Um, just off of like TikTok or whatever. Honestly, the short hair is what'll do it. I feel like I'm just the fact that I'm fucking bald. Well, not go look at this growth. First of all, look at this length. Um, I feel like I just have a more like recognizable face and look. Uh, so versus the fact that I'm like, I, I don't really even have that much of a fucking following. Um, so I was just like, damn, how crazy would it be if I'm just sitting here butt booty naked right now? And someone's like, hey, you're that girl from TikTok. <laughs> like, how crazy would that be? That already happened to me at work. Um, kind of. I had my titties out and then some girl uh, was a lesbian. So I was like, oh, thank God. At least a lesbian. Thank God. Because I would, I would rather that than, than a man. I would be scared. Um, a lesbian was in there and she was with some of her friends. And she was like, she tipped me on stage. I was like, thank you, my queen. And then afterwards, I went over to say thank you. And she was like, you, you just look just like this girl from TikTok. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, brother. I was like, oh, what girl? Because I could compare it to other people on the platform, too. So I'm like, maybe she's like actually thinking of someone else. 
she was like she makes these really funny videos she does like these dj videos i was like oh <laughs> i was like yeah that's me she was like no way i knew it I should, then she went to her friend she was like i told you i told you it was her oh my god so i'm like great you just saw my freaking tatas and now we're talking about my tiktok so great but i was just like i was at the spot i was like damn like famous people can't do this like <laughs> me acting like i'm famous. like but just the thought i'm like damn like there's just so many people that like could never come to a place like this because they would be clocked immediately and it's in la you know what i mean and i don't know it's just like damn there's so, like people can't even enjoy this that's so crazy um i mean i guess if you're like that famous and rich you could just like fucking rent out a spa for the day and like it it could be fine i don't know but i was like hmm you know there's so many things that like certain people can't do and it just kind of made me think i was like wow hmm. that's all but yeah i got literally like eight layers of my fucking skin scrubbed off it was amazing it was everything um it felt so good and i'm smooth like a baby now and like it's gonna start getting hot out and i felt like i had like a fucking layer of dead skin on me like a fucking snake or some shit like i had to peel that shit off and even the, the lady even told me she was like girl you need to when was the last time you were here <laughs> she's like your skin is dry i was like i know i'm sorry but um yeah she literally scrubbed me down scrubbed me the fuck down um but yeah i mean you have to like really because i see some people go there and that you could tell that, that they're like kind of uncomfortable and like just being naked in front of everyone and it's like girl who gives a fuck like no one's looking at each other like no one no one's looking at each other i will say though there was this girl there that <laughs> and i'm not trying to be the killer you know i'm not trying to be the killer you know you 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 you, you catch a glance of some people every now and then i mean come on we're all naked we're all in front of each other um there was this girl in there oh lord Good Lord, she was so fine, Lord, oh Lord, oh Jesus Christ, she was so fine, dude. Oh my God, okay. Let's paint the picture. I'm not gonna tell you what she fucking looked like naked, but I'm just like how she looked. Probably, I want to say she was like five ten, five eleven, tall, maybe even six foot. She she was tall, tall, like model esque, but like she's like she had hips, like like gorgeous 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 body hair she these braids down to her fucking ass like they were eating i was like oh my gosh she's so gorgeous and she had the coolest tattoos on her back and i was just like literally this was me i was like <laughs> like not even in a killer way dude i was just like dude this girl is fucking gorgeous like oh my god she was just so stunning oh my god uh but yeah yeah she was sitting in the hot tub and i was like sitting and like waiting for the i had a robe on because you could like you could put a robe on but i'm like waiting by the area where um you like wait to get called for your appointment for the body scrub so i'm just sitting there and she was just like in the hot tub and i was like <laughs> girl she was so fine and usually i mean like it's like it's always a huge like demographic of people like there's just there's fucking old people there's young people there's fucking there's all types of people it, like everything in between um but i feel like i have not really seen like the baddies like i have not i'm like where are the baddies at you know like there'd be a few times that i've gone and i've been like oh okay she's t like her body's c the face is super pretty um but there really hasn't been too many times where i've been like whoa so i was just like oh my god mom come pick me up i'm scared <laughs> um I don't know, man. There's just something so beautiful about a bunch of women just, like, being women, you know? And just just vibing. And, like, everyone, people are, like, chit-chatting with each other. Like, the people don't even know each other. Where Everyone's just ch talking in the hot tub, vibing, chit-chatting. Like, I love that. I just love that for us, you know? I just love that for us. So, yeah. Um, that was my little spa experience. But, uh, like I said, like I said before, I uh, had an important call. I had a very important call this week. Well, it was yesterday, actually, right? Dude, I don't know why I keep feeling like this week is taking forever to go by, but it's been like three days. Um, I got reached out to by Twitch. I got an email from people, um, <clears throat> some people at Twitch, and they were just kind of like, hey, we see you're killing it. Um, we want to like hop on a call with you. Like, we just want to talk to you about, like, your experience on the platform and, like, see what we can do to help, yada, yada, yada. I was like, cool. Um, and honestly, I don't really, like, want to give too much away. 
nothing really like super crazy happened but they were just like asking me questions and stuff and they were like yeah just let us know if you like have any questions about anything or whatever um but good things are are happening good things are happening and yeah it was pretty cool just to be like recognized by twitch essentially i'm like oh shit like this is actually really cool to see that they like literally like found me and they are like acknowledging my streams and shit i'm like that's pretty fucking cool actually because there's like so many damn people on that platform um <clears throat> and they were just hyping me the fuck up they were like you're killing it like they pulled up like a chart of like my like analytics and like all my fucking numbers and shit they were like you like this and in this t time span is just it's it's really incredible i was like oh my god wow thank you <laughs> so uh yeah that shit meant a lot to me for real because like i said like i uh, I started Twitch streaming in 2020 back when I first moved to LA and literally like four people would fucking watch me and I wanted to stream for fucking ever dude like literally forever ever since I picked up the goddamn controller to play Fortnite for the first time back in 2017 I just knew I just knew <laughs> um no but like I mean, I, I would always play games and shit. My brother had an Xbox, and I always used to make fun of him because he'd be screaming at the fucking Xbox playing Call of Duty, and I'd be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you fucking nut job. And I'd make, I used to make fun of him for playing Minecraft and shit, but honestly, look at look at me now. I mean, I don't... He just... He just stopped the recording. He just stopped my audio. You better not have fucked that up, I swear to God. Oh my god, he's the killer. Miso, if you're watching if you're watching on YouTube, you just saw what happened, but if you're listening, Miso literally just came over here, stepped on the damn keyboard and and stopped the recording of the microphone. He was like, "Girl, shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear about <laughs> No one wants to hear about your Twitch fucking sob story, okay? All right, you know, Miso, maybe you're right. But yeah, um also funny story of how I got my first like my own console when I moved to <laughs> Boston. <laughs> When I moved to Boston, um, so when I grew up, like, growing up in, in my house, like, my fucking family's house, I never had a TV in my bedroom, and I never had a laptop, okay? So, like, I just would have my phone, and we had a family computer, but growing up, I, I mean, and we had TV, we had a TV in the basement, we had a TV in the living room, and then my parents had a tv in their room but i don't even think they had one in their room for a while it was like later on they ended up getting one in their room but anyway it's not like bitch we lived off the fucking grid i just in my room like i just never had that shit okay um so i don't know like all my friends had laptops all my friends had like tvs in the room i was like the only fucking one right and i was like okay so um move when i moved to boston in 2017 which was the first place that i moved after like living with my fucking parents my whole life in my room, I didn't, <laughs> I, I was, like, literally still living like the killer. Like, it was very, like, college dorm. My first apartment was, like, very college dorm vibes. Um, it was a shit, we've talked about this before, it was a shitty little fucking apartment. And um, I actually, dude, I wonder if I could, like, find a picture of it in my camera roll or something. Like, it was just so disgusting. <laughs> but um, I loved it. I loved it, like, so much. I literally thought it was the best thing ever because it was just, like, that's how anyone, like, if you you know how it is like moving out your parents house like you literally think anything is like you're like oh my god this is I'm so cool I'm living by myself um I thought I was like that bitch so I didn't have a tv in my in my room and we just had a tv in the living room and uh my roommates had a tv in their room I don't know why I just like didn't even think twice about it right so I did I even have and I, dude I, yeah I, did, I didn't have a laptop or anything like what was I even doing I, I didn't even have a switch like nothing at this point I didn't, the switch didn't even come out yet I don't think the switch came out like later that year I think I don't even anyway let me get on with the fucking story god damn I'm always rambling on about some shit oh my god like <laughs> so I was seeing this guy his nickname was dirty we have we have I think we have briefly addressed him at least on stream funny story that that was his nickname everyone called him dirty Okay, that was his nickname. Funny story that that's, that was his nickname because he also ended up giving me, everyone, one, two, three, chlamydia. <laughs> okay, yep. 
All right. All together now, chlamydia. <laughs> so funny story that that was his nickname. Um, I should have seen the signs. I should have. <laughs> have we talked about this? I don't remember. Okay. So you know what? I should have, I should have read the room a little, a little harder on that one. Um, yes. Yeah, nickname was dirty. He gave me chlamydia. Girl, this was 2017. Okay. I was like barely becoming a woman. I didn't know what the fuck. I had just moved out of my parents' crib. Like, let me live a little, okay? Met him on fucking Tinder. Like, I still use Tinder. That's This is how bad this was, okay? Met him on fucking Tinder. Me and him were seeing each other for some months, okay? Um, and just one day he was like, you need, a, you need like a TV or something. You need like something in here. Like, whatever. And he's like, my, my, he was like, my cousin's selling his Xbox or something. Like, I'll just, he like bought it. I don't even think I ended up giving him money for it or, or, or anything. He just like I don't remember. Maybe I gave him like a little bit of money for it, but he like essentially paid for most of it. Um, Cause bitch, I didn't even have fucking money at the time. Uh, so he like got me his cousin's like old Xbox. And then he got me this little ass, like it was a TV, but bitch, it's like the size of my fucking monitor screen. That shit was tiny. Okay. It was like a tiny ass little TV. Right. And I just put it on my little Ikea desk that I had in my bedroom and I would play fucking Fortnite off of it. <laughs> And I would play Fortnite off of it. And, um, yeah, that kind of just sparked my fucking Fortnite addiction. And uh, then I stopped playing Fortnite for, like, years. And then now we're back at it, baby. But isn't that funny? And then you want to know what's funny about the chlamydia thing is that when he gave me the clap and uh, <laughs> I, I know I've told this story. I just don't remember where. I'm sorry, guys. I have such a bad memory. Whenever I'll listen to other people's podcasts and they bring up stuff that they've already talked about, I'm like, they've literally talked about this like seven times. How do they not remember? Like, as the listener, you remember. But as a the podcaster, it's like you literally forget what comes out of your mouth like two seconds after saying it. Also, I'm sorry if you're seeing my booty cheeks right now. I promise I have pants on. Um, so <laughs> we, we might have already talked about this again. Sorry if we did. But... um. <clears throat> I remember I went to good old PP, good old Planned Parenthood, you know, did the test, whatever, boom, boom, boom. I get a call a few days later. I put it on speaker. I remember we were, I was literally in my roommate's room. We were, we were playing Fortnite because we would all play Fortnite. They had a bigger TV. They had a big ass TV in their room. So I'm in the room, my roommate's room, and we're all like cool at this point. It was my roommate and her girlfriend, and the girlfriend lived with us too. We're all friends, so I didn't give a fuck. So I put it on speaker because I'm literally playing Fortnite, right? And then... <laughs> The lady on the phone, she's like, okay, so, um, you know, this came back negative, whatever. So she keeps saying this. So I just put it on speaker. I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. She's like, okay. And mind you, I had never had to take a fucking STD test before uh, before this because I wasn't really, like, super fucking sexual. I might have taken one, like, one other time, right? But um, I didn't, like, know that if they call you, it's because they have to fucking tell you something. Usually it's like if you don't hear anything from them, like, you're good. Um but if they call you, it's because there's something wrong. So I didn't know that, okay? So I put it on speaker, whatever. She's like, okay, yeah, you were negative for this. You're negative for yeast infection. You're negative for um, gonorrhea, negative. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. And she's like, but you were positive for chlamydia. And, and literally me and my roommates, we all look at each other. We were like. <laughs> and then <laughs> and she's like so yes yeah, so it is positive and, and we're literally all looking at each other like what and then one of them looks at me and she's like you got the clap you got the clap <laughs> and we were dying but like it wasn't funny I was like what the fuck dude I was like bruh hell no <laughs> so I was so pissed right so I texted the fucker because he was telling me that he wasn't like you know, doing, doing, doing with anyone else. I was just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you fucking have chlamydia, bro. And then he was like, oh, well, and trying to like gaslight me. And, and, and then the fucking most annoying part is that he was mad at me because when he went to CVS to like pick up the medication so that he, because I already picked up my medication. I'm like, bitch, you could figure that shit out on your own. So like, um, the medic, the, the CVS that he had to go for, he was annoyed because, like, the, like, CVS gave him, like, the runaround on, like, picking up the prescription or whatever. They, like, made him go to a different CVS or something. And he was mad at me because CVS was, like, giving him a hard time. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my king. Bitch, you got me so fucked up. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's just a funny story. Yeah, that was not on my agenda of things to talk about today. Um, but that was a funny story. This this is all this all stemmed from the uh, the Twitch meeting. But uh, yeah, no, it went good and it was really cool and uh, made me happy to see that like people are like recognizing my stuff and that was cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the only thing is I've been like kind of slacking on posting on TikTok because I don't even know what the fuck to post anymore. Girl, I've been working so much and I'm at this new club now. So. Um, yeah i'm at this new club and i've just been working and kind of minding my own fucking business really i haven't really been doing a goddamn fucking thing um besides like running errands and working and streaming so i don't really have much to post about but uh you know i'll figure it out maybe i'll post more dj videos i know y'all you, that's the thing tiktok pisses me off because if i post anything related to twitch or anything like whatever literally it gets no views then i post the stupidest fucking shit like i posted that damn twilight video I literally thought of it. I, I posted it in 15 seconds. Boom. It has a million plus likes. Whatever. Barstool's DMing me. Like, can we repost this? Whatever fucking stupid shit. Bro. Oh my God. Like, and literally the videos that I put zero effort into are the ones that like blow the fuck up. Or the DJ videos. The DJ videos usually TikTok always gives me some love on those. Um, And now, you know, I'm in the creator fund, baby. I can make some money off this shit. <laughs> I made money off this shit, okay? I made the little Gypsy Rose fucking video. But I made like $500 on that. Thank you. Thank you, TikTok just off a fucking stupid video and i was just like oh damn i see how people like pay for their entire fucking life with tiktok because if all of their videos that are also has to be over a minute long but damn if all their videos that are over a minute long going viral i'm looking at these people's pages each fucking video has a million plus views and they're all over a minute long i'm like these people are banking like i like there's that this guy have you seen what is it um what is it the, the hoof guy the hoof guy is it Nate? Nate the hoof guy? Who's the... There's a guy that cleans horses' hooves. <laughs> and is it hooves or hooves? 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 Whatever. He cleans horses' paws. <laughs> he cleans, like, horses' feet and whatever. And he, like, fucking cuts them with, like, a fucking knife. And it looks like he's cutting soap. But it's... And, and it looks like it hurts them, but it doesn't. But it's like you can't stop watching. It's so fucking weird. And um, he all of his videos are all over a minute long, and he gets hella views. And I'm like, this dude probably makes more on fucking TikTok than he makes getting paid to clean the fucking horse's feet. This shit is crazy. So I'm just like, you know, shit like that. You see, <laughs> like accounts like that. I'm like, you guys are like banking it on here. So yeah, but uh. Yeah, that's really it. And uh, let me see. What else? Oh, <laughs> I just have such random shit written down to talk about. Um, again, if you watch my streams, I kind of spill all my fucking business on there. So you already know this story. But uh, I came home from work. I worked a day shift uh, some at some point last week. And it was also the same day that my Sunny Angels arrived. I ordered the new series. I ordered a, a full box of the new series of the Sunny Angels. And it's a very cute series. I was very, very excited to get them in. So um, the delivery thing on my phone said that they were going to arrive between like 1 p.m. and like 6 p.m. or whatever. So I get home from work and it was like 6.30, okay? So I'm like, oh, they, they're they already, they have to be delivered, right? I didn't check the thing. I just was like, let me just go to my mailbox before I go up to my apartment. <clears throat> I go to the mailbox, okay? I go to the mailbox before. Uh, it's like my, it's a mail room, okay? So it's like a big mail room. Uh, usually, I'd like to say the the USPS people come to my apartment to do the mail like midday. They're usually there like midday. They usually don't take like longer um, than that. They're usually done by like 4 p.m. the latest. I don't know. They were must have been running behind because there's been a few times I've gone down to check the mail and they usually just they're there like the middle of the day. So they must have been running behind or something that day. It was two male guys. Usually it's just one. It was two of them. And they had a lot of shit. They, they had a lot of fucking stuff to deliver. So it was two of them. They have all the fucking things open. They're running around. And then I'm like, oh, okay. And so I, like, get out the elevator. And the elevator leads you, like, right into the mail fucking area. So... The guy looks at me because he could tell that I'm, like, trying to, like, go to my mailbox. and I, But I don't want to, like, bother them. So I'm just like, oh, can I? He's like, oh, we just started. But, like, go ahead. You can check. So I'm like, oh, well, let me just check. There was nothing in it because they had literally just started. Um, And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, that, that's it's fine, whatever. And I'm walking back to the elevator. And I'm, I'm facing the elevator, okay, waiting to go back up the elevator. And mind you, it's two of them. So one of them goes, the one who was like, oh, you can go check. You know, he was like, how was your weekend? 
and it was like I kind of was like silent for a second because in my head I thought that he was talking to the other guy but then the, then then no one no one said anything back so then I turn around and I'm like and he's looking at me and he's like I'm like oh me <laughs> I'm like oh little old me uh and mind you this was after Easter so I was like oh my weekend was good actually my weekend was great <laughs> and then he was like yeah how was your Easter like and I was like oh, I was good pretty uneventful that's what I said right and I was like oh how was yours and he was like, it was good. Just spend, spend it with family. I was like, okay, nice. You know, whatever. Making small talk with this guy. He's kind of cute. He's kind of cute, okay? He's not like, oh, my God. Sexiest post office guy I've ever seen. He's kind of cute, okay? So, and he was he was nice. So, I'm like, okay, cute. And then he was just like, yeah. Like, I, I think he made it ask me. Oh, and then he was like, what's your name? And then uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, Emily. Shook his hand. And he's like, oh, I'm bleep i'm not gonna name him you know we're, we're, let's call him jeff he said oh i'm jeff nice to meet you okay so i'm like hi jeff you know whatever and then he was just like oh, you're you're really cute mind you i was looking tea i did i had the wig i had the wig on first of all I had the wig on face was beat you know cute little outfit that whatever i wore to work i don't remember and he was like you're so cute and I was like, me just being bored as hell. I'm like, so are you. Now what? <laughs> just bored as hell, man. Like, I haven't flirted with any. Dude, I haven't flirted with anyone. Like, okay, work is different because, bitch, like, that's that's different. Bitch, I'm getting paid. Like, I'm getting paid to fucking flirt. I'm getting paid to, like, all that shit, right? Work is different. But oh, <laughs> I was like, you too. So now what? <laughs> And he, it was so funny because he like, I don't think he thought that I was just going to like say that back. So he, he kind of was like flustered for a second. He was like, oh, well, should I, I should like get your number then. I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> give him my number. Okay. I give him my number. And, you know, he does, he, he types, he types it in. He calls, he calls it just for like a second, not like in a weird way where they're like, let me make sure it's your real number. Cause he didn't like look at my phone or anything, whatever. I didn't even have my phone out. So it wasn't like he was trying to see if it was. It wasn't weird. Um, he calls it just for a second and then like hangs it up just so I could like have like, you know, have his number, whatever. So then, you know, I look at my phone later. I have the number. OK, so it, it went through like his number. <laughs> so I have this number. I get a text. I'm on stream. I'm literally was on stream. I get a text a few hours later and then I went back down like uh, like 30 minutes later, um, got my package, came back up, opened them on stream, opened my sunny angels. And I get a text about 30 minutes later. Maybe now I'm actually, and it was like, yeah, a couple hours later. And <laughs> it was from him. And it said, oh, it was nice meeting you. Like, hope you got your mail or something like that. But that wasn't what I was concerned about. I was concerned <laughs> as to why it came up as his email. Okay. And it'd be one thing if his email was just like, Jeff, blah, 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 one, two, three, whatever. Okay. <laughs> That'd be one thing. I'd be like, okay, weird. Maybe, maybe, maybe his phone's, I don't know, whatever. I would have just thought like, okay, something's up with his phone. But his email, and I'm not going to tell you the exact, like, cause he, there was like, you know, other things and numbers and per fucking underscores, dots, whatever the hell. But the email, his name on the email was Slappy Coco. <laughs> okay, so now I'm confused. <laughs> now I'm confused because who's Slappy and who's Coco? Who, who is this? Why is this your email? email and why is this like the email that's hooked up to your phone <laughs> like why like this is not like a burner email this is just like this is the email that your phone is hooked up to so I'm like slappy coco okay so that already red flag <laughs> I'm like man red flag I mean I wasn't gonna like fucking go out with the guy or anything like I don't know I was just bored as hell and, you know, just for the bit, I'm, like, replying on the stream and shit. Everyone, I'm like, what should I say back? Like, well, we're talking in Twitch. And they're like, oh, da, 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 whatever. So then I was just like, oh, ha, ha, yeah, I got my mail. Like, nice to meet you, too, whatever. And immediately, the next thing that he asked me, he was like, what's your, um, what's your ethnicity? I couldn't tell what you are. Like, I couldn't tell if you were white or, like, something mixed or something. And I was like, okay, little 
right straight straight to it okay and I was like I'm Italian what are you might as well ask and he told me he was like Persian and Armenian I think or something either one or the other or, or both I don't remember and I couldn't tell he kind of looked like he could have been Hispanic like I really couldn't tell when I met him either so I was like you know what are you bitch let me find out so then I was like okay and then um he was like oh we should like go have a drink sometime right and I think I just I might have been like oh yeah sure right and then he was like let's go out this Thursday okay that was what he said and then I just never answered that that message I never answered then he called me on Thursday but it was from his number okay it was the number that he saw. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Then I get another text from him saying. <sighs> out of nowhere, he texted me because I hadn't responded in a few days. He said, have you ever been to club bed and pillow? And I said. In my head, I'm like, what the fuck? And LA, LA restaurants and clubs and bars have you having some weird fucking names. So I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? So I Google club bed and pillow. And you want to know what, what, what popped up? This fucking meme. And I, it's, it's just like some boomer ass meme. Well, it's, not, it's like millennial. It's like a millennial meme. Let me, let me literally Google it right now. If you go on your fucking phone or your computer right now and you Google club bed and pillow, let's see, club bed and pillow, these stupid memes pop up. It says, <laughs> I'm off to club bed featuring DJ pillow and MC blankie. And there's just a million fucking memes of it and people ha wearing it on t-shirts and like all this fucking stupid. It's so cringe. I'm like, oh my God, was he like, so either way, I'm like, okay, so let me, let me like try to think in my head how this conversation would have went. I don't even know what time he texted me this at. I don't know if it was at night or whatever, but I'm like, okay, so obviously I would have said, no, what is that? And then he probably would have either sent the fucking meme and trying like thought that was hilarious. Also, we're the same age. I did some stalking and investigating and I found his Facebook and we are the same age. Okay. Um, so I'm like, okay, you're not like a fucking, like you're millennial. Yes. But like, you're, oh, you're like that kind of millennial. Cause like I'm 27 for those of you who don't know. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm millennial, but I'm like, in I'm um, that in between where you're you're either like some people that I know that are my age are like full blown millennial and then some people like relate more to like Gen Z kind of humor and shit, um, so I'm like oh fuck this is I was like oh my god, and then I'm like okay so he either would have sent the meme or would he have tried to been like oh well there's a party going on in my in my bed. Or like something you know I'm like either way it would have been so fucking bad okay so I didn't answer that text message because I'm like oh my god I just threw up in my fucking mouth um and then the following day I get another text message from him saying I have a really good Italian accent and it'll make you laugh and I was like oh baby you're blocked <laughs> I was like oh my king you're blocked now you're blocked slappy Coco your Coco is not getting slapped any fucking time soon. You are blocked. So I blocked Slappy Coco. I blocked the email and I blocked his number because I'm like, boy, you are not about to play on my fucking phone like that. So now I have to make sure to try to avoid my mail room in the in the mid afternoon hours because I'm scared to run in to the Slappy Coco himself. Um, I am a little nervous, um, but. I was just like, man, it's just, it's so fucking hard out here, bro. It's so hard out here. Like, how do you meet people? How do you fucking meet people? <sighs> it's so hard out here. So I just had to tell you all that story. Um, but I mean, again, I, I, do, I wasn't like fucking love at first sight. Had no intentions of like actually going out to like hang out with the kid. Like I was just like, oh, he's kind of cute, whatever. 
Um, maybe if I thought that he was like the funniest guy in America, if he like, I don't know, did something to like completely win me over that I would be like, oh, okay, maybe he, you know, maybe I'll like go fucking have dinner with him or some shit. And also too, bitch, like obviously like most people drink, like I get that, you know? So it's like, that's a very normal thing to be like, oh, let's go have a few drinks. Very normal. But it's so fucking awkward for me because, um, I don't drink and so it's so weird because I'm like, I'm not gonna. And then I remember someone in my chat, we were talking about it and someone was like, oh, well, don't like feel forced to drink. Don't feel like pressured. Girl, Slappy Coco could have $500 for me and I wouldn't take a fucking drink. Like, bitch, I just don't like the way it makes me feel like I don't care. Like, because maybe a thousand, maybe bitch, maybe I'll have a little glass of wine or something. But I'm like, bitch, there is no pressuring me into fucking drinking nothing. Like, no, I just, that's just, it just literally makes me feel like the killer, like, gives me anxiety. So, um, I'm like, no, I just, it just would just literally a recipe for a panic attack for me. So, no, thank you. Um, but it's just so awkward because then I'm like, do I, I either could be like, and this is why I don't like to meet new people because it's just so fucking awkward having to like try to tell people shit. Oh, I hate it. And, um, Cause I don't want people to think that I'm like anti drinking and like don't want to like, yeah, it's just, it's so fucking annoying. So I'm like, I could either be like, Oh no, I don't drink, you know, maybe we should go do something else. And then, then they're like, Oh, okay. And then, or I could just go along with it and go. And then like, when I get their order, like a mocktail and like, just see if they like say anything. It's just like, it's so weird. I don't know. It's like, puts me in like a weird, uncomfortable situation. Um, and I know it's, like, literally not that big of a deal for some people, but for me, it just makes me feel, like, kind of weird. Uh, but, yeah. That's all. Fucking good old Slappy Coco. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what else happened this week that I wanted to say. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm posting a vlog. Uh, at some point this week, I went and got my butthole waxed. Was that yesterday? Was that yesterday? Dude, why do I keep feeling like so much stuff happened, like, like all the stuff that happened yesterday literally felt like it happened like four days ago. I don't know what the fuck's going on with me. Guy butthole waxed. Yes, be I believe it was yesterday. Um, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, you think you would remember that happening. Some someone just staring into your fucking hole. But it was my lash tech, so it's fine. You know, me and her or like we, we were always like this, but now we're like this, you know. Afterwards she was joking, she was like, We're like on a different level now. <laughs> And I got to go see her to get lashed tomorrow. So, you know, we weren't going to do, we weren't going to do both at the same time. It's just kind of, you know, it's kind of a lot, just a lot of, it's kind of a bonding experience. So, um, got my butthole waxed, uh, because I shave and I'm like, I can't like, you know, I, I'm not going to like grow my fucking cooch hair out to wax it because one it's the most fucking painful thing i've ever experienced in my fucking life brazilians hurt so bad i don't care i i've done it like three times and it's been equally as painful every fucking time i literally can't i'd be i'd be sweating like i'm like grabbing the waxer's arm i can't do it it's so painful for me um and also because of my job bitch like i can't be having coochie hair popping out the sides of my fucking panties like that's so embarrassing so um i mean, I mean hey if you like to grow it i mean more power to you girl but it's just not for me it's not for me uh so that's not an option but you know sometimes I'm just like what if you know there's like eat some so, some stray hairs that you just you just never know like girl just wax that booty hole you know and and a lot of waxers just will do will do just the butt strip and I'm like you know what sign me the fuck up so uh we did that and she was like oh you don't even like have any hair back here I was like thank you. <laughs> but I'm not like a very, for an Italian girl, I'm not really hairy. Like I'm not like that, that hairy. Like I haven't shaved in like probably a week and like, you can't even really tell, like, I'm just not like a super hairy person. Um, so I was like, mm. and also I'm just, I'm white. I mean, I don't know. Like just, I'm like pale white, like a, I don't know. My, my arm hair isn't like super dark. It like kind of grows in just like brownish like lightish brown but that's I mean I don't know um and yes yeah, so I was like you know <laughs> yeah because I be at work sometimes and I like see I mean because you know it's fully nude so we get to see everyone's coochies you know and then and like I will say because there are some white girls that have like pink coochies and buttholes and I'm like whoa so pink and then there's some white girls that there should be a little darker so it's like you really don't know like so I can't even sit here and be like oh I'm white like you know whatever it really just depends you know 
Um, because there's a lot of Italians that are fucking hairy as fuck. But I don't know. I'm just not one of them. But uh, yeah, I got my butthole wax. It did, and it didn't. I didn't feel a fucking thing. Probably because there's like not a lot of hair back there. But I, it didn't fucking hurt. Didn't hurt. But I literally vlogged it. <laughs> I fucking vlogged it. And so now um, I'm going to post that. Uh, it's part of my vlog. I just did a vlog like just like me just doing shit throughout the day. Because everyone was like, can you vlog more? And I'm like, you guys got to understand that I don't be doing shit. I don't be like going places. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I really just need to like go do more stupid shit so I could fucking record myself going places but uh yeah and then um I don't know how I got on this like stupid this is like this is like some shit where it's like you're high at like three in the morning and you're like I could totally do that like it's like some, <laughs> some shit like that I okay so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about me I have always wanted to this is so embarrassing I've just like kind of for fun. I've always wanted to make music, like just for fun, like just for the vibes, just to like see how it would sound. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you hear songs and then you hear like the raw vocals and you're like, damn, the raw vocals like kind of sound like shit. Like I feel like if I was able, if I had like, if I knew how to like mix and master and like edit audio, like bitch, I could eat. Like I could eat. <laughs> so I've always wanted to like make a song, but I refuse refuse to let anyone hear me sing or or like fuck around or do or like just just try to get a vibe with the song like refuse so if I ever 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 were to make a song I would have to learn how to do everything myself so I was on the phone with my ex we were talking and um he hates when I call him that he's like that he's like oh, that's it I'm just your ex <laughs> I was on the phone with him and we were talking about we were actually we were talking about that and he was like, well, you know, Pink Panthers literally makes all her stuff on GarageBand. And he was like, and Steve Lacey used to make all his shit on iPhone. And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, they're like, like, it's a, like, you could do it. He's like, it's not like, you don't need all this fancy shit. I mean, yeah, it's cool. But like, people have done it with like the bare minimum. I'm like, what? That's so fucking cool. So then he's like, you literally could just use like a YouTube type beat and then just like, try to make a song out of it and I'm like you know what yeah <laughs> yeah I could do that bitch so I I hop my fucking <laughs> my happy ass on garage band and girl I'm <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna eat I thought I was gonna eat I found these two beats that I liked and I'm literally I was sitting literally like this I have the microphone and I'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I don't even know girl I'm trying to like this this beat is just eating me alive oh my god I'm like I don't even know what to do and then I'm like trying to put these voice filters on it it sounds so bad I'm like oh my god it sounds like like this is horrible like how do they what the hell am I doing and then I'm like how do they like then they record like them singing like in different fucking tunes and melodies and shit and they put it all together I'm like Oh, God, Jesus. What did I think? That I was just going to fucking sing into this microphone and it be fucking Lana Del Rey? Like, what the hell? So I literally... <laughs> I spent probably like 40 minutes just trying to even record like something that sounded remotely decent. <laughs> and I was like, dude, how do people do this? Like, I don't know how to like edit. I don't know how to even use this shit. Like, I use GarageBand for this. But I literally... This is what I do. I click record. It fucking records, and then when it's done, I click export, and I send it to my phone. And, want to know what's fucking hilarious? I bought this fucking damn near $2,000 laptop. I still use my phone to edit the fucking podcast, because I'm like a fucking boomer, and I can't figure out how to do it on iMovie, so I use this app that I fucking use on my iPhone. And I'll let you in on a little secret. The reason why the episodes are so late sometimes is because the app exports my video and it takes about 20 minutes for the video to export. So literally I'm on this app and you can't close the app. You can't like do anything else on your phone or else it fucking restarts. So it takes 20 minutes and it literally loads all the way to the fucking like 99th percent point and then it'll be like not enough storage. So every time I record the podcast, you want to, this is so embarrassing. Every time I record the podcast, you want to know what I do after I, this is what I'm going to do. As soon as I'm recording this, I go, I airdrop the fucking sound to my phone. I edit it. I edit it all on my phone. I go to save it. Right. <laughs> I go to save the fucking episode. Um, 
It's going to tell me not enough storage. Then I have to go. First, I have to update the app, make sure the app is updated. Then I have to make sure my system, my, like my software of my phone is updated. Okay, cool. And then if both of those things are good, then usually I have to go in my software, uh, my, uh, what is it called? The the storage the storage settings i go in the storage settings i have to off i start offloading apps so it's <laughs> when you offload an app it's like you don't delete it but it like it's like not downloaded you know what i mean so i offload youtube i offload tiktok i'd be offloading this shit to save more storage and then it's like there's an option where it could be like go through your messages and delete these big files and then so then i'm just deleting fucking photos it, it, it like gives me like all these options of like photos that are sent through my iMessage delete 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 it's like all pictures of like me and rachel and my mom like send me pictures of the cats that's literally all it is I'm like delete 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 all that shit then i go back and then i try to save it and then if i'm lucky if i'm lucky it saves on the second try if not i have to do it like two or three more times and dude sometimes that takes like literal literally an hour or two of me just trying to fucking export the video <laughs> so it's kind of a fucking nightmare um but that's just that's that's my system that's how i get the podcast to you guys that's just what i do baby like what can i say um i'm a very, very tech savvy person i'm super tech savvy <laughs> uh if you, if you ever see like any edits of me or like any edits from like from tiktok or twitch or anything those were not made by me those were not made by me any good funny edits with like sound effects none of those were made by me none of those were made by me just want to let you uh, throw that out there that uh that's like uh my subs and my followers vic especially shout out vic shout out vic bro she's one of the um one of my mods she edits my videos and <laughs> She does such a good job. And I'm like, dude, how do you do all this? She's like, iMovie. I'm like, how? <laughs> how? Um, yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm, I, I, what are you going to do? It, it works for me. I mean, it's complicated, but it works. It, it works. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to take a few calls. Let me hold on. I'm going to stand up for a second. I'm going to make sure that the fucking video is still recording. And I'm going to fucking lose it if it's not. Because last episode, you know what happened. It went black after like 30 minutes. So please give me a second. Okay, we're still good. Everything's still good around here. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, we're going to take two callers today, okay? Oh, my God. Big day for us taking two calls. Can you believe it? Also, um, if I haven't used your, uh, your voicemail, please don't fret. There's still so many that I haven't listened to. Um, that I literally, it says zero plays for a lot of, like, I haven't even actually listened to them. So these are two that I literally just heard today. So we're gonna, we're gonna give these two a, a whirl. Okay. Let me get my cute little phone that Momo got me. Shout out Momo. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> Vacancy at Vanellas. How may I help? Oh, actually, oop. Vanellas Villa, how may I help you? Hi, Vanilla. Um... I have a question. Um, my, I guess now X Men of three years uh, dumped me to become a DJ and club every night because he wants to enjoy his twenties, and um, I was just wondering how I should deal with the crippling feeling of feeling like I've just wasted three years of my life on someone who couldn't care less um but I want to be my bad bitch era so if you could give me any tips on you know how to really bring that out and not want to cry every time I think about it that'd be great love you love the podcast bye so let's get into it okay wait Australia we have is that was okay right that's sir sir or is there does new zealand talk like that too girl i don't know other countries we got visitors from other country Vir visitors yeah visitors visitors at the fucking at the at the villa right chai we have people traveling all over the world to stay at this villa that is just amazing um her accent was so cute so thank you um thank you queen for your submission um her man well, her ex broke up with her to be a fucking DJ and and go to clubs um, after they dated for three years because he decided that he wants to enjoy his 20s and she's devastated. Um, 
bitch, that's men for you. That's men for you. Literally, the one thing about men is that they're going to just wake up one day and be like, hey, actually, I don't want to do any of this anymore. And I don't give a fuck about the repercussions. And I don't care how anyone feels. That's that's men for you. Um, Not all of them. But you know what? I feel like at the end of the day, a lot of men don't really like it's fucked up but they don't like see women as people <laughs> so yeah um they don't see us as people or they don't really give a fuck so uh he probably just woke up one day and was like i want to be a hoe and i want to yeah so i'm gonna go do that and who gives a fuck fuck everyone else's feelings um and i know that you're probably like sad because you wasted you or you feel like you wasted three years um but you didn't and obviously you're pro i'm sure you're young yourself I'm sure you're in your early 20s and just know that like you saved yourself a fucking headache, a, a lifetime of headaches. That's kind of what like, you know, it's kind of like basic advice, but it's really true. Like whenever you hear people be like, oh, I was with them for like five years and they did this fucking horrible, crazy shit. I'm like, oh, well, girl, like better than f f better five years than fucking 10, 15, 20. I mean, it, it's it's sad, but like. At the end of the day, you're not going to get the time back. And it's not like, I'm sure that like, you don't regret the time spent with him as long as he wasn't like a total fucking asshole the entire relationship. But it, it, as long as you can like appreciate the memories for what they were at that time, then it's like not everything is a loss. It, it, it's like, I don't know, trying to be optimistic about it. But that's kind of like how I've looked at like past uh situations that I've been in and relationships and stuff um and everything's a, a learning lesson it really is everything's a learning lesson and um I, and I've said this before I've gone through a lot of bullshit with men at a young age um not super young but but between like I mean kind of super young between like 17 and like 21 was kind of like my yeah, maybe even like 22 to 23 but you know I mean like the the normal years that people go through bullshit with men and then I kind of like learned a lot and realized a lot and like I, be I became like not so much of a pushover and I don't know I just like implemented the shit that I learned and fucking d dealt with and went through and became a different person and a different woman because of that but in a good way you know what I mean not in like a fucked up detrimental way like kind of in a way where I'm like okay I know what to look out for I know what I want from someone I know what I don't want from someone I know what this red flag looks like and I, you know what I mean like I went through that shit early so that I don't have to deal with that shit now so that's kind of really the way you got to see it is um especially if you're like kind of naive and like you know you want to see like the good in people and that's kind of how I am and how I, I have always been uh that's how I was in relationships and you know you want to see the good in people and sometimes bitch sometimes there is it bitch <laughs> sometimes there ain't shit to see okay so sometimes you just gotta close your eyes and keep it fucking pushing and just be glad that girl you saved yourself years m fucking more of headaches and bitch when he gets bored of the fucking club scene and we when when his dj career fucking fails because i'm coming for his gig <laughs> when his dj career probably doesn't fucking take off and all this bullshit and he probably you know eventually when he's over this fucking life he's probably gonna come back around and expect you to be waiting in the same fucking position that he left you in and that's not what the fuck you're going to be doing so um she she did submit this two months ago this is like an older call so i hope that you are in a better place if you're listening i would love an update would love an update if you want to message me on instagram or something we could like touch up on that topic um would love to hear how you're doing how you've been but um yeah i mean honestly it, it does fucking suck because I've been in situations similar <laughs> as some of you know I have been in situations similar where um everything like I thought everything was fine and then like you know kind of the next day they're like oh actually don't don't want to do this anymore and you know whatever uh people go through shit mentally and like if people feel like they need to like be by themselves or whatever but like bitch to be a fucking DJ and, and go clubbing and to enjoy your 20s Fuck you literally fuck you bitch like all of a sudden now you want to enjoy like oh God, fuck you fuck you i hate that shit and when they mean enjoy they, they mean be a hoe because it's like 
bitch, you can't, so you, you can, you could still enjoy your fucking twenties and be in a relationship. You just want to be a fucking whore. And that's fine. Honestly, bitch, let him be a whore because if he, either he fucking broke up with you or he probably wouldn't cheat on you. So that's it. <laughs> that's my advice. All right. Let's take our next caller for the day. <laughs> oh, Vanellis Villa, how can I help you? Didn't even have the phone picked up. <laughs> Vanellis Villa, how can I help you, girl? Hey, girl. Um, I'm on episode 11 of the podcast so if you've already addressed this my bad um but I just need to know your take on being a bald woman uh I'm also a bald woman I have pretty much the same hair as you so slay um I've had it for a few years and so I'm very aware of the audacity that strangers have like when they come up and ask if I have cancer or try to reach out and pet my head um also a bonus for me is that my name is becky so i have to hear every fucking two seconds that i'm becky with the good hair um anyways yeah i love you dude that is one thing that is not talked about enough is literally the the entitlement and the the fucking audacity that people have when you're bald <laughs> uh, especially as a woman dude so let me hang hang up this phone um i especially being in in my industry i'm surrounded by a lot of men and a lot of fucking stupid men at that um people will just literally come up to me and like just grab my fucking head and or just or they'll just be they'll just be like let me before even me saying yes or no, like, like can i just touch your head and they're just like touching my whole head it's fine when it's like girls that I know and like other dancers that literally does not bother me at all I'm like oh that's fine it's just like girls being girls whatever but when it's like guys like guys are like touching my fucking head well first of all my hair is literally down to my ass now so I can't relate anymore I can't relate to being a bald woman anymore because my hair is legitimately touching my ass crack but um it's it's so fucking annoying. Holy shit. People really have the fucking audacity. And and I've had <laughs> I've had customers be like, oh, I thought you were sick. I thought you had cancer. Bitch, do I look sick? Does this ass, do these thick thighs and does this thick voluptuous ass say sick? Does anything about me look sickly to you? Because I look like I'm eating good, okay? And I'm fed. And not that you can't, not that you fucking can't be sick and, and, and not look sick, but like, be, for real, like, be serious right now. I'm literally shaking my ass for some fucking cash. Like, and you're going to ask me over here if I'm, like, bitch, yes, I am sick and the medical bills are piling up. So do you have money to give me or no? Like, fuck you. So it's just, it's none of your fucking business if I was or not at the end of the day. Um like bitch or like l legit I, I wish someone would ask me are you sick bitch are you are you because i dude i would read a guy to filth i'd be like oh because your teeth look a little mm, this outfit like you look sick in the fucking head okay that's what you look you look sick in the head you look like a cuckoo fucking idiot dumbass <sighs> i just can't <laughs> um but yeah I have experienced a lot of like uh, uncomfortable and dude, oh my God, the comparisons, the fucking comparisons. If I had a fucking dollar for every time that I got, especially at the club, Amber Rose, Amber Rose. Oh my God. She looks like Amber Rose. Has anyone ever told you that you look like, what's that girl's name? Oh, uh, Amber Rose. Amber Rose. Yes. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's she's sexy she's amazing she is literally the icon when it comes to like shaved head like we know is it a compliment yes she's fucking hot as fuck but when you hear it for five years like all the fucking time and bitch i am amber rose is 20 million times hotter than i am so it's not like i'm like oh i hate being compared to amber rose bitch her body is more tea than mine will ever be her face structure is more tea than mine will ever be like bitch everything She's fucking Amber Rose. She's the blueprint for the for the bald bitches, okay? Like, come on. But it's just so fucking annoying to hear the same thing all the time. Like, to just constantly hear the same thing. And when, like, you literally tell someone your name and they're like, oh, Amber, Amber Rose. I'm like, 
<laughs> it just gets a little annoying after like five years, you know? So, um, that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, and I'm trying to think, I get Sinead O'Connor, fucking Doja Cat, um, oh my God, like who else, bitch? Any, any, literally any bald person that's like ever been bald. And it's so funny because I never got Doja Cat until the bitch shaved her head. Oh my God, you know, you look just like Doja Cat. Uh, no, I think our fucking heads just look alike because we're both fucking bald. <laughs> I actually don't think we look anything alike. Like, I don't be looking like any of these people that you say. It's just the fact that we're bald. Like, you could, you could, it's okay. It's the same, it's literally the same fucking thing when y'all see any black woman and you're like, oh my God, you look just like, and then just a, another black woman that the only other black person that someone knows. Like, bitch, no, they don't. Like, it, it's, you know what I mean? It's just, it's like offensive in like a weird, like, you, you just see any black girl with, like, big hair, and you're like, oh, my God, you look like SZA. Like, girl. <laughs> people are allowed to, like, be their own people and look themselves. And, and, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just, like, that kind of a thing. Um, it's, the, it's yeah, the same the same kind of a thing. So, or if, like, you know, especially if so. It, I feel like hair, too, makes such a big difference because I can wear my blonde wig. Like, bitch, I wore my blonde wig the other day and some girl at work was like, you look like a hotter version of Alabama Barker. I'm like, first of all, that's she's literally a child. <laughs> so <laughs> let's 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 take a step back here. Um, And then with the wigs, I've got I've got Lady Gaga. I've gotten fucking literally when I wear the blonde wig and then when I wear the black wig, people are like, oh, my God, you look like J-Wow, J-Wow, J-Wow. I get that all the time on TikTok if I wear the black wig. Oh, my God, you look like J-Wow. Put all these people in a room together. Put, <laughs> But you're telling me if you put fucking J-Wow, Lady Gaga, Amber Rose, like all these people, they don't fucking look alike. <sighs> so I'm like, who do I actually look like to you people? I don't I don't I don't want to know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, but yeah, no, it, there people definitely have the audacity. And that it's more the thing that bothers me more is the obviously if people are like, "Oh, I thought you had cancer." That's like, "Bitch, what the fuck?" Or um the the touching without like even saying anything. Like that is where I, I'm like, "Okay, I got to draw the line there." Especially if they like grab your head like a basketball. Like, "I don't fucking know you, bitch. I don't know you." Can't stand that. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think we've been recording for a little over an hour. I don't even fucking know. I literally don't even know, bitch. We don't, we, we never time this shit, but I kind of have like a sixth sense for when it's like about to be an hour. I have like a sixth sense because I, I don't even ever look at the time when I start recording. So I kind of forget, <laughs> but I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. We're going to wrap it up here. Okay. All right. And yeah, and you're welcome. The episode's out on time again. We're, we're, we're really trying to be back on, on schedule. So the episode's out bright and early. You're welcome. What can I say? You know, I'm really really on top of shit now that I'm like you know I'm like legit or whatever so yeah what can I say <laughs> um that's it follow me on Instagram at vanilla mace with three l's and vanilla follow the podcast Instagram uh vacancy at vanillas follow me on twitch vanilla mace follow me on tiktok vanilla mace <laughs> bitch follow me on everything why not why not okay all right I love you thanks for staying bye